we are either a spiritual master or a spiritual slave we can either be a slave to light work or a master at light work which one is which when you are enslaved by a belief by a pre-existing condition that you must meet to qualify yourself into the believer and thereby enacting the belief when you are enslaved by what it means to be the believer when you are enslaved by a complete shunning away from and of the material world because it does not feel spiritual to you that is a form of spiritualized slavery you are a slave to your belief and so if you're wondering why you are not manifesting the life you want if you're wondering where your blocks are ask yourself is the very thing that i want to manifest the very thing that i consider as not spiritual and this can be disguised even under something like well you know if i get a lot of wealth then i'm able to do this i'll be able to help the needy you will be able to do a lot of work for those less fortunate that is another disguise of spiritual escapism or shunning away of the material world or you might say i don't want to accumulate more karma and therefore i'm going to minimize my involvement with material life again to be spiritual to be a light worker to be a spiritual warrior is to not be a slave is to not pander to any belief system is everything it's all encompassing when we shun away a job or we shun away the idea of money even luxury or even driving a luxury vehicle right there is one thing making lifestyle choices but when you shun something away because you believe it not to be spiritual that is a form of spiritualized slavery which way are you so a lot of us folks when you are on a path when you're on a spiritual path and also when you're just beginning to awaken spiritually you will make choices and you will almost compartmentalize what is spiritual and what is not you will compartmentalize what is light work and what is not so many of us will have mechanisms where we're trying to protect ourselves we're trying to draw up boundaries we're trying to ensure that we don't accumulate too much wealth and this is where so many of you will struggle with charging for your services you'll struggle with free advice you'll struggle with drawing a line and saying well actually no i'm adding value and therefore it's okay for me to handle money it's okay for me to receive so look back and look into what are your belief systems where are you where are you are you moving more towards spiritualized slavery or are you moving more towards spiritualized freedom where you are your own master you can either be a spiritual master or a spiritual slave we also become enslaved when we stick to belief systems and these belief systems generally 
appear before an awakening. When you've had a spiritual awakening and there has been a paradigm shift of consciousness and you're going through the awakening as you get into the state of awakening and into the awakened state itself, during that transition, yes, you may have things that you're holding on to, but what you'll find is your beliefs are going away. And one of the biggest beliefs, and you'll find this, that when you think, well, you know, wealth is in my way, materialism in my way, maybe I shouldn't spend too much money on this, maybe I don't deserve a, I don't know, very expensive outfit, you know, maybe it's going to build my karma, maybe we should live in a, in a smaller place, not such a big place. Now, the thing is, it, it actually doesn't really matter. It's the association that you have with all of these things that matters. It's what you identify. Now, if you identify yourself as I am that house or I measure my involvement in the material world or the 3D world and I measure myself against that which I accumulate, then yes, then that's a different ballgame altogether. Now, as you get deeper into your light work, you get deeper into this, you'll find that you're embracing both the material world and the spiritual, if at all there is to be a dichotomy, although there really is none. So this is where we say now when you're healing yourself and you're fully, fully embodied and you feel that, yes, I am fully awake and you know that yourself, then it doesn't make a difference whether you're a king or a pauper, what titles you have against your name, what you have by way of material possessions, whether they're here today, gone tomorrow, they come. These are things that will just pass by. But your spiritual awakening is not going to stop you from engaging with life. And that could be so many different things. If anything, you will, after you've gone through a transition and that transition can include being in isolation, it can include being exhausted, being fatigued, dealing with all sorts of things, right? But there does come a time when you're fully involved, you're fully engaged with whatever it is that life is bringing to you. Sometimes what is coming by way and it is requesting our involvement is simply a need for rest a need to listen to your body so you're fully embodied you're fully aware but you're not shunning something away and saying well no that's not so spiritual folks that's then we then become a slave to these notions and this is where so many of us will get stuck at no, you know, being spiritually awake or experiencing all this is about love, light, peace to all. And in doing also, you lose your authenticity. You lose recognition and validation of feelings, emotions, thoughts that you're having and they're there. Let them be, be there. That's okay. But be aware. So it's if we keep suppressing something, you're creating a caged animal. And this is where you could be in a practice for 10 years, 20 years, and you know, you could have kept yourself in all of these situations. And when you then experience a spiritual awakening, you literally then explode because there's no place to hide. After a spiritual awakening, there's no place to hide. But before a spiritual awakening, when you know, you know, there's love and there's all of these other things, there's joy, exuberance and everything, but above all, there's authenticity, there's awareness, there's an aware, authentic being that is emerging from this being that was fully attired with things that they didn't even need. So you see now, when you're approaching materialism from a place of attachment, then it is something that contains within it the possibility of creating a hindrance for you. But when you approach it with non-attachment and it doesn't amount to any identity that you're forming against what you've accumulated, then it makes zero difference. You will not move away from it. You will not move away from, and this is where folks also tied into this is duality, positive, negative. At some point, that line simply disappears. 
so does it mean that you won't experience these things no it doesn't but your involvement and engagement with all of these things really does it it becomes neutral and you almost almost don't have a lot of engagement but folks that is not to say that don't honor that exasperation that anger that sadness all the other things that we sort of shun thinking that oh it's it's not very spiritual of me to be like that it's not very spiritual of me you know i i ought to be generous i ought to talk to everybody i shouldn't have any filter i shouldn't have any safety nets for me i shouldn't have any boundaries because it's all about loving everybody and 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 you know seeing the good in them seeing the underlying goodness in them and before you know it you end up in a toxic relationship you end up feeling exhausted you're burnt out and this is where folks we can go either way so when you think it's all about the love and the light and everything what you're doing is you're shunning yourself away you're shunning you and your feelings your emotions your responses and your own inner healing you're shunning yourself away so whether you're shunning your three dimensional reality away whether you're shunning materialism away whether you're shunning your body consciousness because it is not to say when you're spiritually awake that oh i'm not conscious of my body anymore i don't i don't have an attachment to my body or that i don't feel identified with my body not really because your body is still there the body's intelligence is there and the 3d reality is there but the 3d reality now takes on a different hue and shape the 3d reality now has elevated itself and it's working from a different part of you it's working from a different consciousness so that is morphing it is changing so you're not shunning you're not sort of shutting yourself off of no you know i i want to try to yes there will become times when we are because we want to teach ourselves to disengage outwardly and engage inwardly we shut things off of us and that is part of a practice but it is not to say that you stop engaging fully with life around us or that we shun to shun in the name of spirituality is a misnomer because there is nothing that is not of spirit there is nothing that is not of that nothingness not of that black hole of nothingness not of that you know ekonkar what we say or not of that om or whatever it is that you associate as that void there is nothing that is not of that void so we are all from there so as a light worker or as a spiritual awakener awakening or somebody who's on a spiritual path ask yourself is there a trade off am i still in that dichotomy is there still duality am i shunning the material life even unconsciously yeah am i scared that money might corrupt me am i scared that wealth might corrupt me am i scared that success in a material way might corrupt me am i scared that if i sit in you know in a in a private jet that might corrupt my spirituality yeah if anything folks again like we said when you are spiritually awakened and you've integrated your state it really makes zero difference whether you are on a on a cart led by bulls or if you are walking or if you are on a train or if you're sitting on a private jet none of these things will matter because you are embraced it and you are already all together so everything that happens on the outside it's not that it is irrelevant but it is not of much significance in the sense that it is able to imprint on you right so that it's able to corrupt you because you can only be corrupted if you identify that i am the body and everything that happens to my bodily existence then yes we are open to corruption and that's with a whole cycle of karma the cause and effect comes in but when you've gone beyond that and you're experiencing life beyond that right it then doesn't matter folks then you are you cannot be corrupted 
if and if anything see we this comes to you it comes to you because you're attuned to your total total abundance in every state yeah lots of love folks thinking of you see how far you've come and don't forget if you can just make a list of whatever it is that you're shunning and how you'll know if you don't know that you are shunning things away is to see what you're moving away from see what you're trying to get in your life and you're not getting and that's how we can identify blocks and sometimes these things can be unconscious sending you lots of love take care